In this video, we're going to look at user types and how they're used within the premium press theme. So in front of me, we have the auction theme, but this video can be used for all of the premium press themes. The setup is the same. So in front of me, we have the user's dashboard. As you can see next to the user's icon, there is this word agency, which is a current user type for this actual profile. Now to manage user types, we go to the admin area. We click on premium press. On the left hand side, we select users and under user settings, the user types option is here. Now user types are managed automatically by the theme, which means you don't have to do any work. The system will automatically update the user based on their um, usage of your website. So if for example, they add listings, etc., they'll become a member, an agency, etc. And I'll show you how that works. If we start with the very, very basics, a user type can be managed by the admin by clicking on the user, scrolling down, and anytime you can change a user type for a user by setting it here. And this will overwrite the default. So for example, if I wanted to ban this user, I would select banned, click save settings. Okay, now if I go back to my, my actual account. Okay, click on my account. Okay, you can see now the account is banned. So you've banned this user and they can no longer access any of the account features. Okay, again, to unban them or change it anytime, you go to user types, you can select a different user type or click auto assign for the system to do it automatically. Okay, just give it a refresh. Okay, and the user is back to the work, the place they were before. Now let's go back to user types. So users, user settings, okay, and the user types. Now here we have five user types, and this is really all you need, but let me just explain. First, obviously, we have banned user, which is obviously explained. It gives you the option to ban and prevent users from accessing the app dashboard. A visitor is somebody that has not registered on your website. So this is somebody that's just come to your website and has not yet registered. And there are options here, which I'll show you in a minute. A guest is somebody that has registered but added no content to your website. So for example, I've just created a profile, but I haven't actually added any listings or purchased anything from your website. And they're called guests, the so guests to your website. Now, a member is somebody who has actually purchased products or added listings to your website. And in this case, they've added just a single listing. So we call them members. And finally, an agency that is somebody that submitted multiple items to your website. So basically you've got somebody that hasn't joined your website, which is a visitor, someone that's joined but not added any content is a guest, someone that's joined added content but only one item, that's a member, and someone that's added lots of content is an agency. So within these user types, you can manage different access options to your website. So let's look at the very basic option, a visitor. So this is somebody that has not yet registered. So here we have additional options to set what they can actually do. So let me show you how that works. Here we have this option called can create ads. Okay, and if I go to this website, in the case we're using the auction theme, so when it says can create ads, we're telling the system, can a someone that has not yet joined the website create a new ad on your website? So if I wanted visitors, visitors to be able to create new auctions, in this case on the auction website, then I would turn this on, and that way they can. If I turn this off, for example, save the settings, okay, Let's just open a new window, just try it out. Or if I log out, so I'll be a guest. Okay, if I click on add auction, it's gonna ask me to sign in because it's not gonna let me to add a new item. So let's go back to the admin. Let's try this again. Okay, users, user settings, user types, go back to visitors. This time let's turn it on. Okay, save the settings. Okay, let's log out of the admin. Okay, and this time I'm gonna click on add list add auction. And now it's gonna let me add a new listing. Now this might work for different different things. For example, if you are running the escort theme and you want users to be able to create an escort or a new escort profile as part of the initial registration, then turn this on. Again, with the auction, a visitor can now come to your website and create an auction as part of the registration process. So as you can see on the final part of the registration process, because they are not yet a member, they can create a new account at the same time. So it just makes the whole flow of creating an account and adding content a lot quicker. Now, obviously they can still register the usual way. So this, they can still sign up here if they wanted to, but then they would then have to sign up, log in and then create an auction. Whereas this case, it just makes the whole process much quicker. Okay, so let's go back to the admin and look at the other options. Okay, so again, users, user settings, and then user types. Again, if I click on visit, let's have a look at what the other options. Now, multiple options, it can be ignored because obviously once you've created an account, they can add options anyway. 
buy advertisements means they can access the sell space options and buy advertising and the view ad page refers to the actual ad page so let me show if we go to the website okay when i say ad page we're talking in this case we're looking at the auction page because the auction website if it's the dating theme it'll be the profile page the escort theme profile page etc so if you wanted to stop people accessing say for example this page yeah the dating page the escort theme the auction page whatever you want to call it okay we would turn this view ad page off and in this case because i want to stop non-registered members from viewing this page i would make sure it's the visit to profile so i would turn this off okay save my settings okay i'm going to log out okay so my current user type now because i'm logged out i'm not registered is a visitor so again if i click on actual auction page again i'm forced to log in and actually prompted to register and sign up so basically you use the user types to limit the user's access to your website so let's log back in and have another look. Okay, so users, user settings, again, user types. So let's have a look at some of the other options. Again, it's very self-explanatory. A banned user is obviously someone that can access the user features. A visitor is someone who has not registered. A guest is somebody that has registered but not created any ads. So what's the difference? Well, it should be self-explanatory, but as somebody that's just registered on your website and not created any content, you can control what they do with this option here. If someone has registered and created a content, for example, they've created a single auction item in this case, or a single profile in the dating theme, or a single ad on the escorts theme, then this will be the actual members. They'll be a member because they've only created one single ad. Okay? If they've created, for example, we're in the auction theme here, they've created lots of auctions, then they'll be classed as an agency. Uh, and this is what the options you can do here. Now, obviously, you can change the name. So if I just wanted to change this to testing123, so I can give it my own unique name save the settings if i view my website okay click on my account you can see the name under the actual title testing one two three is visible here so you can change the actual names of this section here these are just defaults that we've called because they're easy for most users to understand how to separate each of the actual user types so there we go those are the user types within the premium press team there are no options to add additional user types at this point in time, simply because the user types here cover all of the user types that are required for most user websites. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.